Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Up Boston here, and today I'm back for episode number 3 of my Brooklyn Nets My League here on NBA 2K16. So I got this pretty interesting trade offer. It was a first round pick in Shannon Cry for Thaddeus Young and a second round pick. I ended up turning it down. Uh, mainly because I didn't want to take back Channing Fry's contract, but it did uh, make me feel pretty good about trying to get a first-round pick for Thaddeus Young at some point. That is something that I'd like to do. Um, you know, whether or not I decide to keep Brook Lopez, I think Thaddeus Young, I just don't really see him uh, being a long-term piece on this team. And uh, he was traded for a first-round pick uh, last offseason, not 2015, but 2014, when he went from... Um, what was it Philadelphia to Minnesota and uh, so hopefully we can get a first round pick for him again but uh, we'll see how that goes so we're taking on the Miami Heat in this episode uh, the Heat are a team that many think could actually win the Eastern Conference this year I personally think the Cavs will probably come out on top again but uh, the Heat definitely a pretty talented starting uh, starting five and a solid bench as well so a pretty good team overall but we're getting things started with a Thaddeus Young a slam dunk right there on the pick and roll he goes right to the basket two handed slam and it is tied up at two early here's D Wade though being covered by Wayne Ellington, although uh, not really being covered by Wayne Ellington because he gets around on the screen there, right to the basket, left-handed layup. Now we're all knotted up at four. Once again, it's Whiteside down low to Dragic. Dragic trying to get in the paint, but a good backdoor cut by Chris Bosh, and he'll take the easy layup right there. So six to four game. It's Thaddy Young once again. He's going to try and dish this one down low, but that's a turnover, and that would be a common theme in this first quarter and really in the first half. We had 12 turnovers in the first half, and a lot of it was Chris Bosh and Hassan Whiteside playing really good defense, um, really disrupting my pick and rolls, which is like the bread and butter of my entire. 2k offense and especially Whiteside I think he ended up with five steals which for a big man for anybody five steals in the game is pretty absurd for a big man it is really absurd um, so we'll have to keep a, or I'll, I'll try to point that out when I but I did include a lot of defensive highlights in this episode I do want to try and include more defensive highlights and as you can see Joe Johnson bricks the layup Johnson and Brooke Lopez both had really bad games um, Lopez more so in the second half he uh, actually turned on a little bit but in the first half Lopez really had a bad game and Johnson overall had a really bad game so uh, considering those are really the two cogs of our offense we struggled a lot on offense today but look at Bogdan or Bojan Bogdanovic excuse me with the block right there and now here's Rondé Hollis Jefferson bringing it up it gives this one down to Simbular and Simbular's guy who would have a great game today I'll point that out as well he had a phenomenal game really establishing himself as uh, you know potentially our, our backup center for the long term but there's Bogdanovic again with a nice block on Gerald Green so he's had a couple nice defensive highlights here's Bula are though getting a swat on uh, Dwayne Raid right there. I think Bular ended up with five blocks today. He had an absurd game here. Uh, he's being covered by, I think this is Mario Chalmers or one of their point guards, and he just backs him down and then slams it. If you guys don't know, Sim Bular is seven foot five and like 300 and something pounds, and he is just a, a, a physical specimen. There, though, uh, Wade gets the layup over Bular. Now it's a three point game. Here comes Gerald Green. He's going to pull up and knock that one down, so that'll make it a five point game. And that would be the score at the end of one. So Miami up by 523 to 18. They hold us to 18 points. Like I said, our offense really struggled early on here. Um, with Johnson and Lopez really being shut down, it, uh, we had to look for new ways to, to, to get offense. I mean, personally, the first two episodes, if you'll notice, I did a majority of my scoring. With Lopez and Johnson, today we had to look for different guys. Here's a, There was Jack making a layup. There's Ellington, but a good defensive play by Whiteside. And really, the defensive impact Hassan Whiteside had in this game was really incredible. Um, you know, both from a standpoint of forcing turnovers on pick and rolls and, you know, using his verticality and defending the paint. I mean, he really had a big impact, and I think you'll probably see that if you watch the video close enough. Here's Gerald Green. He had a really big first half. He ended up with 16 points in the first half total, much of which came in the second quarter. You're going to see him nail a three right here from the corner, and he really used his athleticism nicely today. Um, you'll see in a couple different clips, I think I have one coming up here later in the quarter, where he just blows by guys using his quickness, and that pretty much summed up our offense in the second quarter. Brooke Lopez missing the easy dunk there. Here's Chris Bosh on the fast break. Uh, we don't get back in transition there now Miami's open up a 15 point lead 42 to 18 now it's 14 points and here's Green what well, look at he just gets right by Markel Brown and Brown's pretty athletic himself but I mean I guess that's just poor defense on my part but still I mean Green really proving to be a tough cover here's Jack though with the contact layup he had a couple nice shots today I think he ended up with like uh, 14 points or something like that and then look at Bular with the chase down block on Mario Chalmers I gotta say Sim Bular was the man of the game today he was so much fun to use and here we go again pick and roll and then right down low and when he gets that close he's so big he's so physical he's not gonna miss so here's Wade though coming up and then Bular blocks the D Wade floater unbelievable he's having quite the game and then uh, James Ennis misses the shot there but a rebound not James Ennis James Ennis or Tyler Ennis I don't remember but either way and one now it's 50 to 36 so a 14 point lead once again Shane Larkin getting in on the action though he's going to go to the hoop and get the layup to go so Larkin had a nice game today as well um, I gave him some extra minutes in the second half because I thought he was playing pretty well and uh, he ends up, or I should say D. Wade ends up missing the shot there at the buzzer. So we go into the half down 12, 50 to 38, only 30 half, 38 first half points. 
pretty unimpressive stuff there from the Nets. Take a look at the halftime show, and we're going to take a look at Shaq here. I don't know what he was doing on this one. I don't know if he's pretending he was in a box or being a mime or whatever but there you can see 12 first half turnovers the heat had 10 steals in the first half that was pretty absurd but we did have seven blocks but you can see the discrepancy in field goals attempted and that is really always oh yeah we get a nice uh, side boob shot here the uh, brooklyn nets dancers but um you know that's always been a problem for me in 2k's i turn the ball over too much and end up always taking less shots than the opponent and if you take less shots you're probably going to make less shots and if you make less shots obviously you're probably going to score less and lose the game and uh, that really was evident in today's game I and mean, we took what 15 less shots in the first half alone and then another good play by white side there. Larkin is going to find Joe Johnson and Johnson hits his first field goal of the game. He did not have a single bucket up until that point and he had his foot on the line so that'll only be worth two. But look at Larkin blowing right by the defense into the lane on the fast break. Man, I was really impressed with Shane Larkin today. Uh, him and Bull are both really establishing themselves. Probably not as, you know, future building blocks on this team, but I think guys that I, I plan on keeping around for the long haul and and, you know, hopefully they'll be around when, when we become a title contender. But here's Bosch going to the basket. Good find by Dragic. Lead is back up to eight. You can see we cut it down to six at one point. And now it's still eight. Here comes Thaddeus Young right by Chris Bosch to the hoop. He definitely traveled there. But it's all right. It's the NBA. It doesn't really matter. And now here's Markel Brown. Tries to get that down low. But another steal for Hassan Whiteside. But look at this. We get it right back. Brooke Lopez under the basket. He slams it down. And the lead's back down to six once again. So not going away quite yet. Eight-point game here. We're getting the screen from Thomas Robinson. And then Markel Brown to the hoop hoop and Markel Brown actually got a little bit of action at point guard here in the second half and he played pretty well he really uh you know Markel Brown is not a very good shooter but he's got a ton of athleticism and check it out here he's going to get to the basket and when he gets you know close to the basket he uses his athleticism really nicely and rarely misses so it's a five point game after the end one but Mario Chalmers he nails the three right there so it's an eight point game once again now still an eight point game here's Markel Brown Brown tries to go around the defender this time he's just going to give it to Bular who slams it down with the left hand six point game once again now Bogdanovich looking for Bular goes to the basket and another slam oh my goodness what a game it's down to four and it would actually get back up to six here at the end of the third so start of the fourth quarter six point lead for Miami Brooklyn not quite out of it yet we get it down to four once again here's Dragic bringing it up gives it to Bosch and Thad Young doesn't pick him up and Bosch nails the three it's back to seven then here come the Nets on the other end Johnson tries to go in and he misses the layup Joe Johnson's horrible game continues and the worst part of it was he actually shot 3 of 14 the previous game against the Kings and so it's like he's in a prolonged shooting slump right now I don't even know what it is but here's Bosch again top of the key for 3 lead is up to 12 and now it looks like the Heat are starting to pull away timeout Brooklyn and take a look at Bosch he is pumped up on this one he is fired up screaming at the Brooklyn crowd he knows he is trying to single handedly will his Miami team to victory here comes Johnson though trying to get some fourth quarter scoring here post fade away actually nails one for once so leads back down to 9 now here comes D Wade gives it down low to Bosch and I don't know what defense that was from Brook Lopez but Bosch with the and one lead would get back up to 12 and then here comes Dragic down low to Wade Wade finds Whiteside what was Thad Young doing there who knows 15 to 5 run the lead was once four now it's 14 Miami starting to pull away as I said it's up to 16 Lopez though with the mid-range he'll knock that down but under five minutes to play it looks like Miami has got this game in hand we get the steal here it comes Johnson and take a look this was just pathetic Johnson misses the easy layup come on Unbelievable. So I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode, I did decide to use the same sliders that I used in the last episode one more time. I enjoyed the game experience the first time around. Um, that's why I wanted to give them a second shot. But this game, I really thought, uh, eh, I don't know, it wasn't the best. And I think uh, I'll probably switch up the sliders again for the next episode. But for those of you who didn't uh, see the last episode, the link to the sliders will be in the description once again. So you can check them out if you want. I would say they're worth a shot. Like I said, I enjoyed the first game. Um, with them and then the second game you know it's only one game so if I played a, if I played on them a bunch more I, the, the results could be different who knows but uh, so I, I would recommend checking them out if you're looking for a good slider set but I'll probably uh, switch it up for the next episode as I continue to test out different sliders in season number one but we lose 101 to 85 is the final score and there you can see it a 16 point loss so a pretty bad loss at home by Brooklyn you never really want to lose games at home but Miami's a very good team especially in the Eastern Conference and you can see there, we actually shoot 53%, but only take 68 shots, where they, as they took 84, so like I mentioned at halftime, a big discrepancy there. Take a look at the box score. Lopez ended up actually having a fine game, 18 points on 11 shots, only 3 rebounds. Bular, 18 points on 8 of 8 shooting, 5 blocks, it was pretty ridiculous. And then uh, Joe Johnson and Jared Jack both had really bad games, but like I said, I like what I saw from guys like Larkin and Bular, and uh, on the Heat side of things... Leading the way, Chris Bosh. Wade actually had a pretty bad game as well as Dragic, but uh, Gerald Green and Chris Bosh more than made up for it. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, enjoy the 2K postgame show.
Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. He notched his season high, and his scoring really seemed to set the tempo for his team tonight. When you talk about Whiteside, you're talking about a guy capable of putting up 20-20 every single night. We've seen him do that more than a few times, and he's going to keep doing it. His rebounding is fantastic. He's always around the ball, and his timing is outstanding. This guy has great shot blocking instincts. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough. <laughs>